Hey Google, turn on the AC please. Okay, turning on the AC. Could you put the AC to 25 degrees please? Okay, setting the AC to 25 degrees. Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to connect this device here at home so that I can control my air conditioner. Now this device will work with any device that uses infrared, a TV, air conditioner and so on and so forth and all we need is this small device right over here which I'll leave the link down below and it doesn't matter where we are on the planet we will be able to control just with a phone and an internet connection any device that we have at our home which is very useful. Now I just finished up the setup but I'll share with you guys my uh, feedback right over here. In terms of the unboxing experience we will find the RM3 uh, Mini from Broadlink. We will also find a quick user guide and a USB to micro USB cable which is the only thing that we will need to power this device. And in my particular case I use Daikin air conditioner and this will vary from brand to brand. Now the way that we set up this device is very easy. All we need to do is to download the Broadlink app as you may see by some images right over there. And then once we have the app downloaded we will need to add this device. At this moment I only have this one but the idea is to add a few more so that I can control multiple machines here at home. Once we have that finished and created our account and and so on and so forth, we will need to add our remote. Now the remote that I did add today was uh, the remote from my air conditioner. Once again, the Daikin, I'll try to show you the images right over there and I'll try to leave the exact model down below. But uh, the thing is that it's really easy. I thought that I had to map all the buttons, but in terms of the air conditioner, um, this is a pro and a con, which I will explain in just a few moments. Uh, once we press one button, uh, the app will recognize the buttons and it will map according to our system. Now this is great and we will end up with an interface like this which is nice to use. I've got the basic functions and everything works out of the box. Very simple and has the most common functions that I need like temperature, the on off and the different modes, the fan speed and then a healthy sleep mode. I'm not thinking about using it but might be useful for someone so really really nice. The only downside in my particular case and I'm not sure if it will be on yours is that the off button doesn't work. I can turn on the machine, I can do everything that I want but it won't turn off. So after a bit of frustration with the original app that we work with the RM3 Mini, I did find out through doing a bit of search that we can use another app that I'll show you guys on screen available for iOS and also for Android called the Intelligent Home Center and this way I've got my air conditioner working great. So a great surprise right over here and I must say that uh, I was getting a bit frustrated but right now I'm really happy because I can use the full functionality of the air conditioner. And of course we can do other integrations with Google Assistant for example. Hey Google, turn on the AC please. Okay, turning on the AC. Could you put the AC to 25 degrees please? Okay, setting the AC to 25 degrees. And by the way, could you turn off the AC? Sure, turning off the AC. And I was able to do so on the Android side. On the iOS, for what I've read so far, uh, it needs an update so that we can integrate. But for Android users, you can start using it with uh, voice control. Now, to me, the most important was to be able to have the full control of any of my air conditioning units especially outside of my home. In an example where I'm getting out of my work and I want to set the air conditioner to cool down or to eat up uh, the bedroom or the living room or whatever I want. And that is a really cool thing which I can do with this simple and great menu. And basically that is it guys. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.